Welcome to Where They Wonder. We are Cat and Kev, and we travel full time around the United States in our Grand Design Imagine. We are heading off to the Cascade Canyon hike. We're on the first boat over Jenny Lake, and they're very excited. A little nervous about bears. We bought bear spray, and uh, hopefully, uh, we'll see them from a distance. It's a bit wet. Going to Hidden Falls and Inspiration Point first, and then we're going to go up Cascade Canyon. Kev said he's not quite sure how inspiring it's going to be because it's pretty sucked in right now, but the weather report is good. We've had three days of nothing but clouds and rain, but we're optimistic, aren't we? Absolutely. The first part of this hike is just half a mile to the Hidden Falls and then half a mile again to Inspiration Point. You go up 400 feet in that time. If you come and get the first boat out, uh, it's only $10 a ticket. After that, it's $12 for adults and $6 for children. We're at Cascade Creek at the Hidden Falls. We're gonna be hiking up Cascade Canyon along this creek all day. After saying that we wanted to see a bear, but from a distance, we just saw a bear. He was eyeballing us. Not so from a distance. He went across this big creek on a log, and then he jumped into the water, and then he started up the hill. Towards and us. Then, and, and I said, let's go, because he's coming up, and he may want to use the trail. He's like, look, so, cat, look, bear. I'm like, oh, cool, he must be quite far away. And I go look, and I'm like, oh, no, he's right there. He shook all his wet off, and he looked really cool, and then he looked right at me and started like, hey, I'll come towards you, and I'm like, Oh no, let's just walk away. And I just started yelling, hey bear, hey bear. And then we just walked away at a decent pace and uh, don't think I got a shot of him, but I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's <laughs> check. Okay, he's coming this way. He's walking this way. We're not even half a mile in and we've already seen a huge brown bear but he was beautiful. Black bear. I'm sorry, black bear. Black bear, not a brown bear. If that was a grizzly, I'd be back on the boat already, I think. Okay, so we're gonna give you some perspective because this is not the point we saw the bear, but he was at the edge of the river right there and we were on the trail right above him. That's how close we were. He was massive. He was beautiful though and it was exactly what I wanted to see a wet bear shaking, but maybe not quite that close. This looks like a fun hike. I'm pretty frightened of heights. Edge of the world hiking, always my favorite. How you doing? Wave at the camera. It's a bit of a conga line this morning, but it's a Sunday morning and it's been raining for three days. So what do you think, Kat? Terrifying and amazing all at once. If you're not one of our subscribers yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and follow along with all our adventures. So here we are, inspiration point. Look at that I view. So inspired. Oh my goodness me, it's breathtaking. Weather said it was going to be clear and uh, sunny today, but you just never know in the Tetons. The mist has come in and we can't really see anything, but we're just going to keep going and hope the mist lifts, lifts later in the afternoon. There's a reason they call this Cascade Canyon. These falls are everywhere along the height. Oh, it's so loud. You can hear it from the from this trail and you can see a side trail over here. Look at this beautiful overlook right here. Incredible, isn't it? We've seen a couple of people not really uh, dressed for the hike. 
or the wilderness or bear danger. But you know, sure, they'll be fine. Check it out. Still cloudy. Still trying to uh, walk until the clouds lift. We'll see. We're about a mile in now, I think. Just a bit, just a bit over a mile in. It would be nice if we could actually see the Tetons, but this is our view right now. Yep. This is a very popular, very, very busy trail. We're here, we got the first boat out, as you know, there are lots of people. But most of the time, as you know, Kevin and I love to hike in the wilderness and meet nobody or meet very few people. But when there's lots and lots of bears, I'm pretty glad there's lots of lots of people. It's still not lifted just yet, but starting to get some views. Still a bit misty, but look, I see blue skies coming through. Well, the peaks are coming through. You can just about see them. And uh, we're heading this way. We've taken our rain clothes off. We're gonna go up maybe another mile or two and stop and have a break. What a contrast it is walking up this canyon along the river up to the trail forks up here compared to hiking in Anza Borrega Desert State Park and hiking up to the Borrego Springs waterfall up there in a beautiful canyon that's completely barren and a dry creek at the bottom. We're almost at the junction where we're actually gonna cross the river. So pretty excited about that. All these wildflowers guys I mean it's August now normally in California there would be none of this because it's just be so dry they're beautiful to the trail forks here and uh, we're gonna take a break. And uh, most people stop here and turn around, which is pretty much what we're gonna do. Uh, said it was four and a half miles in, we've actually clocked it at five and uh, we'll go find somewhere to have a rest. And we're just about to leave after having our break. Peaks just starting to come out of the mist, so that's amazing. We're gonna go take a look at the falls and then we're going to head back down. Now you can see we're in the Canyon of the Tetons. We are in such a cathedral canyon right oh now. Oh my gosh. Both sides, these, it's incredible. These spires go straight up. Yep. 
Didn't see any of this on the way up. It's hard to know how close we are to it, but now you can really see it. Exactly. Straight up. Oh my gosh, look at the size of those antlers. Oh my goodness. On the way up, couldn't see past these rocks because of the cloud coverage, but look at it now, my goodness. We thought it was busy coming up in the mist. This is crazy. We're probably passing 10, 15 people every couple of minutes. So, not much chance to record, but that's okay. They timed it well for their families and for their hike. It's, um, <laughs> something up here, hold on. Oh, it's probably just a squirrel, but, uh, but way more people started this hike around 10 o'clock. And of course they get to hike in all of the beauty with none of the, the mist and stuff, but gosh, it's busy. You can see the waterfall coming down there and it's coming off that glacier up there. It's incredible. Kevin doing his The Hills Are Alive with the Sound of Music pose. And uh, they certainly are. It's incredible up here. Oh, there you can see the glacier, look at that. Once again, could not see these glaciers on the way up, but look at that, oh my goodness. That's what all that, uh, that's what that waterfall's coming from, yes. See if I can uh, a see any moose, but more than anything, I want to see if I can uh, see how cold this water is. But uh, keep my eye out and be very bear aware. Uh, I think that's about as far as I'm going to go. Oh well. So can't get down to the water. I thought maybe I could. I said to Kevin, it's very humbling to be here in this majestic mountain range. The only bad thing about this hike is that it is extremely popular. This is just a smattering of the people. And we waited all the way up that hill. We've been in line at least 45 minutes and we're still not on the boat.
thank you for coming together. We hope you enjoyed this 10 mile out and back up Cascade Canyon. Join us next time where we'll be at the Lewis and Clark Caverns. Until then, we'll see you on the trail.